Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal. In today's episode we have Feyenoord in the Europa League away from home and we also have a top of the table clash against Liverpool who sit top of the table currently but we're away from home. If we can beat them we might go top. There has been three fixtures that you've missed since the last time you met. The first of which was a home tie against Leicester City in the Premier League, which we won 3 0, and it was a pretty comfortable game. Nicolas Pepier, Lucas Torreira, and our main man Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with the goals. We then had an away from home tie against Everton in the League Cup, and we won this one 4 1. Alex Awobi did score against us to put Everton 1 0 up in the second minute, but we came back into things just before half time with an Alexander Lacazette goal. Aubameyang with two and Tierney with one in the second half secured the win. And when we played this game, West Ham United were top of the Premier League. And we absolutely smashed them 6-0. David Luiz with the first goal in the second half. They did defend very well in the first half and we couldn't really break them down. But Luiz in the 57th minute put us in front. Socrates got two from centre-back and Lacazette got himself a hat-trick playing just off the striker, which is nice to see. And this is how the Premier League table looks after those set of fixtures. We sit second in the table, having one more draw than Liverpool have at this stage of the season. But of course, it just highlights the importance of the game against Liverpool in the league. In terms of the other competitions, then in the fourth round of the League Cup, we will be playing West Ham away from home. Um, FA Cup were not entered in yet. And this is how the Europa League group looks at the minute. Feyenoord beat Strasbourg in their opening game as well. So this is essentially who's going to finish first, us or Feyenoord. So this is how we're going to line up for the first game today against Feyenoord. Leno in goal, Malqui at right back. Bellerin has been slowly reintroduced back to the squad and he will get on for some time, uh, some game minutes in this match. Socrates and David Luiz, of course, our centre-backs. Thomas Partey in defensive midfield with Kalasinac as our left wing-back. Torreira plays in the centre. Nicolas Pepe and Mesut Ozil in the attack midfield roles with Lacazette playing just off Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So if I know to come at us with a pretty standard 4-1-2-3 formation. Some decent players um, Feyenoord have got. Toonstra, Leroy Fur, uh, Senesier, I always recognise. Haps, Bergris, uh, Nicholas Jorgensen's a very good target man uh, striker. But we do have the better side. Away from home, we should still be getting the win. Let's see how we'll play. First highlight of the game, Nicholas Pepe with a free kick. Good save by the keeper. And we almost get in with the follow-up. 10 minutes in now, there's another highlight. Our attack from the left-hand side falls to Mesut Ozil in the box and he gets his second goal of the season. I've actually been really enjoying Mesut Ozil. I didn't think I would. Um, he is very much just a playmaker and not a lot more. But that's all we need in this kind of system and he's providing a lot of key passes. I'm not too, I'm not, not too many assists, but he's keeping things ticking in the final third and that's exactly what we need as there is another highlight Pepe with a, what a what a weird punch by the keeper Nicolas Pepe what a goal that is his third goal of the season he basically assisted that himself as well the keeper here has an absolute man why he's punching this I have no idea he wasn't under any pressure but Pepe strike what a finish that is beautiful highlight straight from kickoff after the goal are Feyenoord going to try and get back into this? Let's see. They do work it well down this right-hand side with Bergwies and Patrick. Um, but they give the ball away eventually to Kolasinac. But we give the ball straight back and they are in behind Jorgensen. Another mistake by David Luiz. But thankfully, Bernd Leno was equal to the challenge. That should probably be 2-1 right now. He's a corner by Haps. Cleared by Nicolas Pepe. Can we just get the ball, please? Senes here on this left-hand side. Plays it in. Malqui gets rid. Going to be another corner. Another highlight now, Kalasnach pinches the ball in an advanced area. Falls to Mesut Ozil, a lovely little dink ball over the top for Kalasnach to Aubameyang. It's cleared only as far as Thomas Partey. We've got lots of space on this right-hand side. If we can find it, switch the player between the two years. I don't think either of, uh, have either of you has got the vision. Torreira's got the vision for the left-hand side, though. Kalasnach, Pepe is there. Header off the post, it's cleared. Should be 3-0. Only nine minutes to go remaining in the first half, and Pepe with a first time pass to Lacazette and he, ne <laughs> he needs to be burying that. He should be. And there it is for half time. Feyenoord nil, Arsenal 2. A pretty comfortable game so far. No need for any major changes. We will look to get Bellerin on at some point. Plus with t &E as well. Both of them returning from injury. Needing the game time as much as humanly possible. Pepe receives the ball from the Feyenoord goalkeeper and drives into the box. Goes for goal. And it's a comfortable save for the keeper in the end. We will look to make them changes now. Kieran Tierney coming on. And where is Malqui? He is here. Let's get him off and we'll get Hector Bellerin on in his place. 
Highlight for Feyenoord in this setting off. Patrick down this right hand side. Can he get the ball in? He can't. He goes back to Bergwies. It's played to Jorgensen. Thankfully, Leno is equal to the challenge. Another highlight now. Bellerin bombing down this right hand side. He gets past one. He gets past two and three. He goes for goal. What a goal by Hector Bellerin. His first goal of the season. He's only played maybe about 60 minutes in the past couple of games. But he rides this challenge from Haps. He gets himself into the box. He rides another challenge. And he still keeps the ball. Does Haps again. And he scored from that angle. The keeper will be disappointed. But we are not 3-0. Another highlight now. 60 minutes in. It's us with the ball again in possession. Playing it about quite nicely in the midfield area. Until we give it away. But they give it straight back. And Lacazette is now in behind. He goes for goal again. It's probably two key chances for Lacazette in this game so far. Now Lacazette did score that hat-trick against West Ham, which padded his stats a little bit, but he's still struggling for um, form, really. I'm surprised he's on a 6.7 after missing two key chances, but I want to see more from him, to be honest with you. Pepe switches the ball beautifully to Kieran Tini on this left-hand side. He tries to get past one. He falls at the first hurdle, but he gets the ball into Pepe, and that was a weird highlight. 15 minutes to go, Pepe is struggling out there. We'll get Reese Nelson on. Another good performance by Nicholas Pepe. He really is enjoying the inverted winger role on that right-hand side. And he's doing the business for me anyway. Finishing on an 8.9 there. But the time is ticking away in this match. Only a few minutes remaining. This will be a decent 3-0 away result in the Europa League. Nothing crazy. We haven't performed amazingly. But we got the three points and that is all that matters. As you can see, the table is starting to form. Dynamo and Final are probably going to be the two teams fighting for the second qualification spot in our group. But we should run away with this. I might start rotating quite a bit more in the Europa League. But with only a couple of days to go, I hope our boys recover well for the Liverpool game. So the big game in today's episode, it will be against Liverpool. We'll look to make some changes to freshen things up a little bit. Uh, we'll bring in Gwen Doozy for Thomas Party. And Lucas Torreira will drop into that deep lie and play make a role in the defensive midfield. We'll bring Reese Nelson on at the bench. Uh, I like having his option to come on for Nicolas Pepe on the right-hand side. But apart from that, the team is going to remain as is. Hector Bellerin still not quite up to full match conditioning yet. Uh, same with Kieran Tierney. So we will remain with uh, both Klasnac and Malqui as our wing-backs. But Liverpool, one of the best sides on Football Manager 20. They always seem to win the Premier League in the first season any sort of save I've done so it's going to have to take a massive massive performance from the boys today to get anything I am expecting a defeat let's kick off so we are going to go straight off the attack and move to a more positive team mentality which matches what Liverpool are coming at us with let's see how the first 15-20 minutes or so goes with that as Mania goes in behind good save by Leno uh, stops Liverpool from going 1-0 up the first 15 minutes or so going by the match stats aren't looking so bad. Um, we did have the majority of the possession. 22 minutes in is our second highlight. But I'm happy and pleased with how things are going so far. As we'll pick this up with Bern Leno kicking the ball out. And Nicholas Pepe on this right hand side does Andy Robertson quite easily. Drifts past him, goes for goal. But Adrian's in goal for Liverpool a day. And he gets it comfortably. Another highlight now. Mo Salah with a uh, free kick for Liverpool. And this is a calamity. An absolute calamity. Let's see this again <laughs> during the replay. We don't need this against Liverpool. They're more than capable enough to score their own goals. But Joe Gomez with the header. Good save by Leno. Malqui hits the post. And it goes in as he tries to clear it. There we are. Liverpool 1-0 up. Disappointing way to concede. I'm not going to lie. Highlight just before half time. I would love it if we can get an equaliser before we go out for the second half. Kolasinac. With the ball on this left-hand side. Some decent player by Orson Kolasinac is overran. But we can't find him on that left-hand side. We can rebuild though. We go all the way back to Leno. And we'll see where this goes. It finds its way to Pepe on this right-hand side by Mesut Ozil. Lacazette's back post. And that is an open, open goal. He should be scoring that. Absolutely dreadful. Liverpool won. Arsenal nil. Half-time. We've performed pretty well, to be quite honest. We've matched Liverpool. But that own goal is costing us. Kolasinac is going to come off right now. We're going to get Kieran Tierney on. He is a bit more attacking, or at least a bit more capable whilst he is attacking anyway. But um, saving Kolasinac's legs is always a consideration. We'll pick up with this highlight here. 53 minutes in. Ozil finds Aubameyang in behind. And again, another dreadful strike. Oh, Kieran Tierney. He's not long been on. and He's already picked up a knock. Um, we might have to make a change here. And Lucas Torreira 
two changes we're going to have to make. So Torreira can come off for Thomas Partey. Maitland-Niles will have to come on for Kieran Tierney as the left wing back, which is not ideal. But with 70 minutes gone, there is another highlight. It's a corner for us cleared by Liverpool. Lacazette keeps the ball alive to Thomas Partey. We go all the way back to Malqui, but Socrates as our right wing back's got a lot of space on that side. We are not really putting forward too many uh, good passes here, but we'll keep the ball. Pepe gives it away. We'll continue though. Lacazette receives the ball from Ozil. Dinks the ball over the top for Pepe. Goes above uh, Robertson. Malqui plays the ball in and Lacazette, man. You've had so many good opportunities in the past couple of games. Why? He just can't finish. I, I, I don't understand. He's his heading's decent enough as well. And we can already tell why this game is going. Gomez plays the ball in. It's cleared by us, but picked up by Adam Lallana. Divock Origi's on. Robertson with loads of space. Plays the ball to Lallana. And Adam Lallana gets his fourth goal of the season. Puts Liverpool 2-0 up. We've had our opportunities. We could be at least drawing this game, if not winning. But um, we haven't been able to put them away. And we've been made to pay quite dearly. We are going to suffer our first defeat. Of the campaign here. Five minutes to go. Not really much. I don't even see the point in going for this. To be honest with you. They would just absolutely kill us on the counter. We really did need to be at the top of our game today. Against Liverpool. And we just haven't done it. So um, we're going to follow our first defeat. Liverpool 2. Arsenal 0. And that is full time. Disappointing. Disappointing after seeing the game. But it was to be expected. And with that result. We do still remain second place in the Premier League. Level on points with both West Ham and Manchester United but the problem is we are now five points behind Liverpool who sit comfortably top of the table looking forward to the next episode then when are we going to come back I think we will come back for the Sheffield United and Strasbourg game of course if you haven't seen the other series Sheffield United was the team we managed and I'd just like to see them in all their glory but anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time Take it easy.